Holt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What do you need? Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed. Need a blade? You should talk to Adriana the Forge. Nothing? My lord. What's the meaning of this interruption? No Jarl Bargraf is not I receiving just visitors. I just... Well, that explains why the guards man? let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Mir Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The, the Jarl of Falkreath will mountain. view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Varengar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? 
I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Oh, Faringa, you need to come at once. A dragon Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Not now. I serve you. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the Keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The Inn and Marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. <laughs>